So this is Lentz's new wireless handset, the LH101R, and here I've got the receiver, the LTM101, which connects Fire Express Net to your uh, Lentz digital system. It will connect to the new LZV200, but uh, it will also connect to the LZV100 on version 3.6. Um, I've got this connected to another unit actually, so to avoid confusion I've actually got a unit down here that this handset is connected to at the moment. So the handset takes two AA batteries, so doing this one handedly just to be sure. Push the button in and release the back case. Battery slots there show the orientation of the cells. You can use standard AA batteries and you can also use rechargeable AA batteries. Um, what I find is that the top goes in better first and then click home against the spring portion. So feed it in that way. On the back of the unit there is an on off switch. So we'll, oops switch it to on, comes up with a version and then it starts searching for the base unit. And once it's connected the symbol there goes to the little curve at the top. If you've got a big X at the top uh, above the upside down T then it's not connected. Maybe you've walked out of range of the system. You can connect up to four of the radio handsets to the LTM-101 receiver and you can have two receivers on the layout so a total of eight wireless handsets are available to you. Um, I've got an open unit here. There are two address ranges so two blocks of four. This dip switch number three if it's on, then it's 24 to 27. If it's off, then it's address 28 to 31 on ExpressNet. Um, the four addresses are allocated automatically in turn, so um, let's quickly. You can view the ExpressNet address that has been allocated on the handset. Try and do this as quickly as I can. Uh, there we go. So when you go and view the ExpressNet address, two addresses come up. There's the one that is set if you connect it by cable. And in brackets there is the address that has been allocated to it when it's through the receiver, through the wireless receiver. So this one's on 31 and then this one has been allocated to 30. The operation of the handset is almost identical to the, the wired version, the LH101. Uh, I've done several videos on our website uh, on, on that so I won't recap it all here. Uh, there are some things that are more specific to the wireless handset, so um, when you've got two handsets operating the same loco, one will flash, and on the wireless one, it, while it's flashing, it won't allow you to do anything, so click on it first, and you'll see that the other handset will start flashing, and now we can operate uh, the the model. So so it looks like while they're in standby, uh, the data is different. So let me just pick up the other handset. And what it does is it says it fetches data, so it will then resync it. So I think rather than constantly sending information while it's not being used, which will drain the batteries, it only picks up the information when you're actually selecting something. So 
One of Ali New Model's new French Mikados with the dynamic smoke, which is always impressive. A couple of other things on the handset, so again about power saving, uh, if we go to the menu, go round to set up LH101, you can reduce the contrast and brightness and that, that will also help save batteries. Um, let's find this one, that one will check the battery level. Escape. And there's another one in here that might be handy, which is the backlight time. So at the moment it's always on. You can set it between 10 and 900 seconds. Um, so I've set it for 10 there, so if it's inoperative for 10 seconds the backlight will go out. There we go and as soon as you uh, press a button it will light up again um, so go back to the menu set up backlight time so right at the bottom if you go all the way to what was effectively zero it's always on and then you can go all the way up to 900 seconds by scrolling through I'll leave it on the always on which was the factory setting so there's just a, a couple of things there that are slightly different from the the wired version. So the final thing is that if your batteries do go flat or if you just want to use it as a conventional handset you can turn the battery power switch off and then plug in a cable and it will work like a conventional LH101 handset. This won't charge the batteries, it's a completely separate system so the batteries are turned off at this point and it is running purely off the cable power. If you are using rechargeable batteries then you will need a, a battery recharger to, to charge those up. They've kept that completely separate so, so that you can use conventional batteries in it as well.